my mother did not bring me into this world for someone to come and drain me and suck me dry so that I can just shrivel up and die like that. She didn't bring me into this world for that. Please, God did not wake me up today for you to come and try and kill me. I can't come and kill myself. As long as I lay it down, long as I lay it down, long as I lay it down. As long as I hey guys, welcome back to my new channel. Um, I'm sitting here with a piece of cake because I just turned 21 plus 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't mind me, I'm just gonna take a bite before we start this, you know. Because even with videos, you know, we've got to eat, we've got to enjoy ourselves, you know? Mmm. Anyway, what I do every year, just before, like the day before or my birthday, the day after, I always take time to like review the year, milestones that have been accomplished, things that I've done maybe wrong or could have, you know, like room for improvement kind of thing. Lessons I've learned basically to help me, like aid me with the new year coming ahead. And I happen to be thinking about one of the things I learned in the last, more like the last two years, two to three years actually, but I thought a lot about it the other day and thought I'd share it with you guys and hopefully if you guys have any sort of like experiences or anything related, you know, like relevant to the topic I'm bringing up. So as you can see by the title, we're talking about narcissistic people, like narcissists. Majority of us know one, whether you know it or not. Some of us have dated one no tea no shade before i get too into this let me just say from jump yeah i'm not a psychologist i'm not pretending to be a psychologist i'm not pretending to be educated or clinically clinically qualified qualified in general period on any of this this is just a matter of my experiences and my opinions so for those of you who don't know what a narcissist is yeah i'm not even gonna give my own definition we're just gonna go and search the definition online yeah as soon as you type in narcissist on Google, the definition says narcissistic personality disorder, also known as NPD, is a personality disorder characterized by a long term pattern of exaggerated feelings of self importance, an excessive need for admiration, and a lack of empathy towards other people. Do any of you know anyone like that? I know I have. Oh, interesting. A narcissistic man is attracted to someone who looks beautiful and accomplished, not because they like that person, but because her appearance and accomplishments fuel his ego. When a narcissist senses your strong sense of confidence, he'll back away. Ooh. Anyway, like the definitions also show that there's like different types of narcissism. I'm not really gonna get into that. Like I said, it's just like a really brief talk and stuff and things about like my experiences and what I've seen. Maybe you guys have experienced something with someone or like an event or situation with someone which has made you see something or like a narcissistic behavior. I've seen it in some old friends that I no longer like with or talk to. I've seen it in the old relationships as well relationship relationships i'm not gonna get into the nooks and crannies of that but you know we'll, we'll talk about it we'll talk about it one thing i definitely learned with dealing with our narcissist yeah both friend and old relationship from back in the day is it's like nothing and no one in this world is more important than that person it's like it's unbelievable sorry guys i'm gonna undo my plaits here yeah? because you know you can see my hair is messy but and although it's quarantine like still brush your hair in it so i'm gonna undo my plaits Put a little bit of Jamaican black castor oil. Not that you lot care, but thought I'd show you anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna take the braids out, put some castor oil, and then probably plait them back up. As you can see, the plaits are even weak. Like, it's just, it's to keep out of my face, in it? My little bob afro, keep out of my face. So yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk while we're doing this. But yeah, it's like nothing and no one is more important than them. I remember having a friend who, the whole world revolved around her. Do you know what I mean? Like, as in nothing and no one, like, it doesn't matter what was going on, what was going on with you, what was going on with the person next to you, what was going on with your, with your mother or your father. She was the most important thing. And it's like, she commanded your attention, like, all the time. Same thing in the relationship that I had. It's like, your attention was needed all the time. Like, there was no, you cannot breathe without me. Don't you dare breathe and not think of me. To be honest, Stuff like that, yeah, you'll just suffocate, guys. You'll just suffocate because it'll get to the point where you're so drained as well. And that's what a narcissist do. Like, they just drain you. There's nothing, there's never enough. They consume 
so much of like your time, your energy, your strengths, like your attention, everything. They want everything and then it's never enough. I remember being with this person and there was not a thing I had yet that I didn't give to this person. But it was like, it still wasn't good enough and still they needed more. Or still it was like, oh, you're not trying hard enough. Or, oh, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. Like it was, it was, it gets to the point where you'll just get drained. You'll start questioning yourself and your abilities, but they were just drained. Like they'll just be taken, taken, taken. If you're giving, they'll be taken, taken, taken. Honestly, guys, if you have that kind of relationship or friendship with anybody, cut it out. It's that someone cannot be draining you like this. My mother did not bring me into this world for someone to come and drain me and suck me dry so that I can just shrivel up and die like that. She didn't bring me into this world for that. Please, God did not wake me up today for you to come and try and kill me. I can't come and kill myself. I remember with the relationship that I had, yeah? This was like when me and this person were on like the brinks of ends as well. And they had gone away for a bit, gone somewhere, I think it was like for work or something, they come back. And um, I had a situation going on, like a family situation. And it was like, it was really deep. It was really serious. Like that description says, like they lack empathy for anybody else. This person just couldn't understand that what I was going through was really deep. And if anything, I needed their support or their help and stuff. Not just as a partner, but like as a friend and stuff. Yeah, I needed love and support around me during this very difficult time. And they were just like, so when are you coming to see me? And stuff, you haven't seen me yet. I haven't even heard you plan that you're coming to see me. When are you going? When are you packing your stuff and coming to see me? Like you haven't come to my, you haven't come to my crib yet. What's wrong with you? What? I was confused. This person, as in, they got onto me. Yeah, they got onto me to the point it was like I was doing something wrong by not dropping everything that was going on with me and my family and just coming to see them. As in some people, yeah, they'll try and take everything from you. And if you're not careful and you give up, they'll take it. Be careful, guys. Protect your protect your energy. Protect your energy. Protect your spirits, okay? For those of you that are religious, yeah, there's a reason why, why God is even telling us and stuff. You need to protect your hearts because there are some people that are out here just soul-sucking. Be careful. Another thing I saw from this, I saw, like, the number two thing I saw from these kind of people that were in my life, yeah, they always feel the need to be praised. You must, you must praise them. You must admire them. Like they must know all the time. And it's not just them, they must know. Others around you must know how much you praise them. Oh, it's such a, it's so devilish, bruv. <laughs> it's so devilish. When I look back, I just think, no, you have problems, G. Maybe you're talking as friends. The topic of discussion has got nothing to do with them. They have to insert themselves in. But in a way that like, it just doesn't make sense. It's like, Let's say you're sitting around with the girls and you're talking about hair. I really like French braids, da 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 da. Yeah, I really like French braids. Oh yeah, like I saw this French braids on this girl and stuff on, on Pinterest. It looks so cool. I definitely want to try it out one day. Well, I go, I do the best French braid. My French braid looks best. I'm the best of all. Nobody said your French braid doesn't look good, but I do even better weave. Da, 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 da. I have the best hair. I should have gone to wood. Da. It's that kind of thing, yeah, guys. That kind of boastful proudness, like, you, like look at me, look at me, pick me. Like, you got to look at me. <laughs> they just feel the need to divert the conversation back to themselves. Like, whatever you're talking about, it needs to be based on me. Whatever we're doing, whatever tangent you're going off on here, no, bring it back to me. That kind of behavior is offside. If you've got anyone in your life that does that, it's a partner, friends, family member. With this particular friend, it'd be a thing like, we'll all be talking, we'll wait for them to finish on that little thing and we'll just move on to the next topic. But it just, because it got draining. Because they're the kind of people as well where if you try and even say like, all right, chill out, like, okay, I like a French raid, but this is really nice. The kind of war you will begin is not worth it. Just accept what they're saying. It's like dealing with a child. Just accept what they're saying and move on. Because a child, just like a child, they'll throw a tantrum. They'll throw a tantrum and it will just never end. It, like, it's beyond draining. It's just like, rah, nah, like, nah. When I had this friend, it would get to the point where just even to just see the person wake up here yeah, and I know that all oh, like they're awake and they're active I will just get upset I will just be tired you cannot live like this <laughs> you shouldn't be living like that you should not be 
upset or concerned, yeah, like drained because somebody has woken up and you realise that they're active. That in itself shows how big of a problem there is. It shows that crap is not all right. It's not all right. Maybe you just need to move away from that person. It might not even be that you don't speak to that person at all, like you cut them off. It just might mean that you need to distance yourself from that person. But even when I say this, yeah, guys, if you know anyone who is like this, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad person. It's just not the kind of energy and vibe that you need around you all the time. Especially if you're trying to do things like, because they're the kind of people that will drain you. Matter of fact as well, yeah, it leads me on to my next point, yeah. People who are very narcissistic, yeah, have low self-esteem. I saw this so much in the friends I had. I saw this so much in the old relationship I had. When I tell you, they lack the most self-esteem, yeah. So all you see, when they walk into a room, all you see is just this 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 mask this fake person this fake character that they're trying to blow up in the room yeah to make it seem like you know they're mad confident or they're mad strong or they're mad this when realistically it's that they're wearing a heart on a sleeve that like everyone can see your problems everyone can see your insecurity it's coming out in the way you talk and the way you carry yourself it's almost like they don't have that sense of seeing what they're doing and so like we can see you acting a fool because you lack confidence or you lack self-esteem or whatever it is like that's just i don't know that's just the way they behave in it it's that it's this inflated sense of ego but it's, it's ridiculous that like, it's beyond ridiculous sometimes i remember this ex of mine just getting to a point where it's like we'll start arguing well not we and stuff he will start arguing with friends mutual friends that we had and the stuff they started arguing over was is beyond doubt it's like we're all sitting there watching tv and this person is arguing saying oh i'm so much better than this i'm so much better than that i could do better than this i could do better than that and it's like all right chill like we just want to watch tv just want to watch this for them and they felt like oh someone was trying to challenge them no no one was trying to challenge you people just wanted you to cry because we came here to watch we came here to watch the tv nobody wanted who paid to watch you Someone is paying 69.99 to go and pay for their sky and internet per month and stuff because they want to watch it. Who came to watch you, my G? Ah! This thing of just everything like should be revolving around me. What kind of, it's the kind of thing, yeah? It's the kind of thing, man or woman, yeah? You will look at someone and even in, as they're talking, like in all their nonsense and egotisticness, you honestly question, what raised you? Not who? What raised you? What made you this way? What, what, what was it that was missing that now you're coming to... Oh, I'm even tired talking about it. That's how, that's how tired these kind of people are. I'm even tired talking about it to you guys. I remember guys being at a point where in this same old relationship where I had done and given everything I could to this person, yeah. I, when I tell you, it's like it was one of the most naive things, yeah. It's like I was head over heels in love with this person. From the outset, there were a lot of things about us that we um, had in common, or at least I thought we did. That's something I noticed about like narcissistic people as well, like especially in terms of like relationships, yeah. Narcissistic people have this way of making themselves sound like such a victim or like having this vulnerability or weakness and stuff that you can relate to them about if that makes sense if i'm making sense so like you can have something that maybe you're insecure about or something that um is a very hot topic or hot thing for you in your life in your personal life and then they have a way of whether it's sensing that or just to, like, coming to realise that about you. And it's almost like they'll have a way of using it to manipulate you. Like they'll, for example, I don't know, let's say there was a point in time, yeah, like I, I lacked confidence. Like I wasn't believing in my source. Even now, guys, as I come to you here in quarantine as a hot mess, I so believe in my source. Like I just don't care. You can't say what you want. I know some people maybe will come for me for my look and things. I don't care. I don't care. You can come for me with my Wolverine eyebrows. That's quarantine though, that's not my fault. But you know, you can come for me from Wolverine eyebrows and stuff, looking like Return of the X-Men. I don't care. I believe in my sauce. I like my sauce. My sauce tastes nice. My sauce tastes good. Now, there was a time where maybe I was more moved or more affected by some of the things the people close to me, not like just anyone, but the people close to me will say or think or do. Not that it controlled me at all, 
but obviously when it affects you more when you're more sensitive to it it has an effect on how you then whether it's how you choose to be around that person or in general or whether it's how you feel so i had this thing right and it, it so it made me just lack confidence and stuff and that's what other events that had happened and stuff even prior with some of these friends when i got into this relationship now i think this person definitely sensed it and knew it about me and it probably had something to do with the way i carried myself at the time they came with this like not sob story but just this whole little like story life story and stuff that was so sensitive and like all oh, these things happened to me and da, 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 and we're the same and da, 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 da. and for a while i feel like i bought that theory i bought that time with them and it's not to say that they didn't like it wasn't even a true story and it's not i'm not saying that oh they just made it up to try twang me or something like that or try you know but it was more so it's the way they told the story and the way they presented it that made it seem that like we have so much in common we have so much and i think they saw how they made themselves look and use that to their advantage and you know you get people who would do that in your life regardless of relationship things like you could make it in a particular way be successful or be famous or something everybody wants to be next to someone who's successful that's the truth of the matter whether someone means it good or bad there's a lot of people who mean it bad as in there are a lot of people who come and use you when they've come and they've taken everything you'd be wondering like if you just let them in do you know what i mean so this person definitely saw that about me and i think for a lot of the time they use it to manipulate me and stuff when i met them i was a, quite a bit younger and you could say emotionally immature in terms of dealing with certain people and relationships and stuff you don't really know sometimes unless you've been told or unless you get into that kind of situation and then someone does that to you so yeah i would say be weary because narcissistic people they'll come and they'll make it seem like you know you've got so much in common and you know they're this big victim they're always playing the victim in everything and so oh like they've been through so much and they've been through this and they've been through that yes true but just remember guys there's nothing that has happened to anybody else that can justify them doing stuff to you okay there's nothing like we've all been through things and stuff we all go through things we're all still going through things yeah but don't let anyone ever deceive you there is nothing someone can go through that justifies them doing something to you in any shape or form that's my personal take on things and so and i will say that especially to anybody who's young out there who may have a friend a girlfriend or boyfriend and you know they're being nasty to them or doing things that are really like negative or you know not good for you or so it's hurting or hindering you and you know it's all because they've been through so much and they don't know how to deal with relationships oh they've gone through this and that no 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 you have to understand that these people they lack a lot of where are all these hairbands are okay so i didn't carry them they lack a lot of self-esteem and stuff so they're just out here boasting trying to pretend to the world and you know using people around them who will accept that to try and fill up the void and stuff or whatever that they're feeling people like that there's nothing you can do to help them do you know what i mean so if they feel a void they feel a void you cannot fill up anybody's void if they've got any gap or hole inside of them you as a person cannot fill up without either hindering yourself or hindering both of you we are barely enough for ourselves as people you cannot go and then fill someone else up like, it doesn't work like that unfortunately and that's just life if you believe in god i believe in god and so so i personally believe that god will fill all of us up in it if you allow him to do so but i don't believe i have the capability to go fill someone else up it's not to say you can't help anybody but they have to choose whether you want that or not do you know what i mean you can't force them you definitely can't fulfill them if they choose to want help or need help with something or whatever it is you can definitely help them but you can't fill them up baby girl <laughs> it's that it's down to them to choose that you know what i have this problem or i don't like this i need help with this then you can choose to help someone you can't fill them up that's my personal take anyway like i say each their own so don't don't send for me one of the things that really told me that was the issue like with these friendships and relationships that I had as well yeah is because as soon as they were done as soon as like I'd hashed something out with this person stopped talking to them I cannot explain to you how happy I was I, I walked out of their life they walked out of my life it was all smiles <laughs> I think that was the thing that really secured for me to say nah never never again as in I was so happy and I thought this is just so weird and orcs like I don't even feel like I don't miss them. I don't miss you. I don't miss none of y'all. <laughs> I 
oh not even in a horrible way but it's like when someone drains you like that you actually like you'll become free of those people yeah and you'll actually stop and run like rah life is really sweet without you like i don't even wow i can really be this peaceful <laughs> you'll be confused guys i remember breaking up with this person and i loved them so much so it's not like i wasn't into like i didn't feel anything at all i was in tatters a little bit but it was literally it was the moment of a click it was like a day or two and i was like you know what i feel very peaceful i don't feel on edge i don't feel anxious with the things that this, this person says or does to me this person was let me tell you this person was clinically insane <laughs> how can this person say to me bun you anyway and stuff I was the best thing that ever happened to you. You haven't done anything for me. You wouldn't be where you are if it wasn't for me. Me. <laughs> Even when they said these things, I was just thinking, rah. I remember being so hurt and I remember calling one of my girls up at like, this was like two, three in the morning. And, so, and I was so hurt because I was so in love with this person. I bawled my eyes out like upset thinking raw how can this person say this how can they do this to me like how can they feel that way so what has all this time been like just a big waste this is how they felt anyway and when i looked back after like literally a couple weeks i was like raw you know what i really dodged a bullet you know because this is how this person would have been talking to me and moving what for the rest of our lives if i had stayed with them and I think about the things that I've accomplished now. Like, obviously, like I said, I was with them when I was a bit younger. And like I said, I just hit 21 plus five. And looking at how much I have now achieved since then, I can't imagine if I was still stuck underneath that person's thumb. And that's what someone who's narcissistic will do in it. They're very insecure within themselves. So it's like, if you start building your confidence all of a sudden, it's like, hold on, no. We need to squash that down now. You're only great because of me. You're only good because of me. You can only go somewhere if you're with me. And that kind of, especially in a relationship vibe here, because obviously with your friends, maybe you can see, you might see them, but then you might drift away or, you know, you can get away from your friends. You're not always, you're not maybe with your friends as much as you're with like your boyfriend or your girlfriend. If you're with your boyfriend or your girlfriend a lot, yeah, and they're saying these things to you and that's meant to be like your other half. If you believe in marriage and you think, oh, this is going to someone like, I'm going to love one day, I'm going to marry, I'm going to start a family with, have kids with, like you will be, you can, it can send you off the rails just thinking this person I'm so in love with and stuff, this and the person I want to build a life with, this is what they're saying and stuff. And regardless of what we say, like a, long, a lot of the time we used to say our oh, sticks and stones don't break our bones, but the truth is words are very powerful. And so words are very powerful. And so, and it can hurt depending on who it's coming from, how it's coming from them. It can still affect you. Obviously we have to all choose to put what other people say aside and get past that. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't sting maybe in the moment, especially depending on who it's coming from. I would say that's most of my take on narcissistic people like stay away from them stay away from them or if you know if it's a family member if it's a friend a best friend a girlfriend a boyfriend a cousin whoever be very protective of your own energy and your own vibes and stuff and maybe be careful when it comes to spending time with that person how much you communicate with that person and stuff the greater the distance, the more you can protect yourself to an extent. You just you just need to keep your distance in it. You don't need to come and kill yourself. Whoever brought you up in this world, yeah, they did not bring you up in this world for somebody else's son or daughter to come and kill you, okay? Anyway, guys, that was my take on narcissism. Um, sorry, I don't really give many examples or things at all, but you know, if you guys have had similar experiences or things that you, you've realized or traits you picked up on someone who you love or who is close to you, talk about it in the comments with me and stuff. Like I wanna hear about you lot's stories as well. Um, if you wanna hear more about this or topics like this, let me know in the comment section as well. I wanna really, I just wanna talk about these things with you guys because I think these are things that everybody has seen or experienced with someone or something and they're things that we don't necessarily always just like talk about maybe. So yeah, let me know, let me know. And um, I was really meant to pull out my hair. And right now I'm just, I'm just so lazy. Guys, have you, <sighs> it's just me. Like quarantine makes you lazy, do you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing of sitting in the house all day and then you feel more tired even though you haven't done anything. Yeah, but eventually my hair is going to kind of get annoying on the side, so I'm going to play it up. But yeah, but thank you for watching, guys, and I will catch you in another video. Like I said, subs 
subscribe and stuff if you like this and hopefully you see more content. See you guys.